Hello everyone, this is a video on artifacts, everything you're going to kind of need to know for beginners to do with what artifacts you should be using, what you should be pumping a bit of XP into and basically the concept of artifacts, right? So stay tuned for everything you need to know. Hello everyone, it is B Meister Sneaky. So yes, we are covering artifacts today. Everything for the new players that are unlocking artifacts as you go and you're wondering what you should be pumping, you know, some of the XP into, what you should be using, and basically I'm gonna give you everything you need. I'm gonna give you basically the Bible for beginners when you're looking for a new account, how you should be looking at your artifacts and how you should be like trying to proceed with them right and basically get better and better through the season so if we click the chest icon the first very top action is the ring which is the artifact section and you can see i have very quite a lot of artifacts i pretty much have all of the epics i think i'm missing maybe one um obviously i have all the blues you get all the greens anyway so when you get these artifacts Obviously you have a couple of choices and you might be overwhelmed with what artifacts to go for. So when you first play the game, obviously you have your heroes that you pull from your starting keys and you should always obviously with artifacts the same, if you go to pull any sort of artifact, it should be always in bundles of 10. If you do bundles of one, it's just really bad odds and the chance of not getting an epic is just diminished. So if you save up and get 10 keys and smash it, you always guarantee to get an epic or a legendary. Sometimes you get lucky and get like two or three epics. Sometimes you get like a, an epic and a legendary as well. But it, by doing so and saving up, you're going to get all the artifacts you're going to want over time, right? And when you start unlocking them, the things you need to look at with artifacts is how effectively they're gonna help you through the game so one well i say two artifacts that you will get all the time and one which you should get very soon is like the green finger sickle as you can see mine's already maxed out four stars when i first had it season one because it was so effectively good for me season one when i had such a high legion load capacity it allowed me especially when players were inactive Going into an alliance pit and using this artifact allows you to gather so much resource and then using the effect which also can be now used on alliance pits as well as resource points now which is an amazing buff they put in the game. This sickle for a beginner player allows you to actually resource farm really fast and really effectively to actually pump out your beginning buildings and your beginning research are very like considerable pace which i think people disregard because the thing is you need resource in the long run to keep going from the very start of the game and the cool thing is lucy's horn is the same thing so if you're in an area and obviously you have maybe a lot of members around you that keep taking tiles and it's taking you far away to you know farm Simply by just clicking, as you can see here now, if I hit deploy and create the legion and just hit across to the artifact and I've got an Alistair set with him just to, as a, to level up and hit the artifact, by just doing this it allows me to summon for me a level 7 wood one, so this is nearly 1.1 million wood now, and then I'll just send in again someone else, so let's send in this combo. And that, they're just going to start farming. I'm not going to hit the sickle because obviously I want to save that for the alliance pit later. But that just shows you how effectively I can now just gain 1.1 million wood on my own regards as long as I use my artifacts. And the thing is, this could be level 10 and I can still do that effect. It's just how lucky over time you level up these abilities, right? I've been very lucky and I hit a level 6 and 7 one already as you can see. But... At, at the same time, I could have had extra skills in some of the other artifacts that I wanted, right? But that's just the nature of the game. You've got to kind of play with what you have. So when you're looking at some of the artifacts and you might be looking, okay, what's considerably good in the early game? A lot of the good artifacts early game, you want to be leveling up, 
are using to at least level 10, just using them to level 10 to give you a decent amount of buffs and leveling them up to two stars. For example, like this, Giant's Bone, just getting them to around level 10 and then hitting the, the stop button on them. It allows you to just get a decent amount of peacekeeping damage and that's the, the main factor. The peacekeeping damage is what you want. And if you look at, again, this one, this gives you cavalry unit HP, but the buff is to do with peacekeeping damage. It's 24% more damage to dark and creatures. And then another one you could most likely run, which is really good in the early game, is like the Centaur's board. This just is like a big AoE for PvP. Again, you look at like the Time Bomb. Time Bomb's really good if you have this, because it's a big AoE PvP effect. Again, Heart Piercer is really good if you're trying to find something to use in a raid. For Archers, this is really good. It allows you to do a big nuke and reduce its physical defense by 15%. Also, you could run Archers Manual if you've got a really good Archers Manual. Because when you do have a maxed out ma you know, manual, it's 20% normal attack crit rate. And having 20% normal attack crit rate is a very selfish artifact to have. But putting it on a Nico and Gwine Wayne will pump out so much more damage. It's absolutely absurd how much damage that pumps out as a single target DPS march, right? So the way you want to look at these artifacts is in that, that regard, right? And then once you've kind of got your peacekeeping down and you're, you're gathering down, the one area you're looking at is, okay... Now, what artifacts do I need to invest in to be effectively on the open field? And this is always down to your hero pool. So as you can see, like this season, this is I'm at the Necro Giant stage on Super Server 1. You know, this is basically the season 1 reset. I'm now in NT45, just to show in the video, but I'm at like this stage in the game. When you look at my heroes, I already have an expertise Guanwin, I have an expertise Elena, I have an expertise Craig, and I also have an expertise Bakar if I chose to play infantry. So I have, and I started out as an infantry player with the Wilderberg as you know my main starting faction because I loved the the infantry play style from Rise of Kingdoms. So that's why I picked it, and I did enjoy it in season one. But in this season, as you can see, it's allowed me still to get so many sculptures to, to max these two heroes. And then I've got almost enough sculptures to max him, almost enough sculptures to max him, almost enough sculptures to max him. And I'm getting there now with Alistair. Like, I'd send 50% there with Alistair, right? So as you can see, you're going to have access at one point to all these epic commanders. And by doing that, it's just going to allow you with your artifact choice in the next season to be a bit more fluid and like more decision based than the first season so that's the kind of big take from this video and i hope you guys can kind of like understand where i'm coming from now like the season one you play with what you've got if you want to be like a main tank for example so you want to play that Garwood Madeline combo you want to be the main tank for your alliance yeah you want to represent the tank boys you have to have Harlequin's Mask and you have to max this up and you would know this again like from watching guys and videos on artifacts on the tier lists on where you'd place these right but this shows you where hopefully your mindset should be when it comes to artifacts and what you should be leveling up and as you can see like for me I love this artifact it's one of my favorite artifacts in the game and I'm slowly maxing this out to 30 so that I can get to 4 star. So then in the future, next season, like I could with Dragon Scale Armor, I can now just use this to level 40 without worry. I don't have to use any more stars because it's already there. It's done now, you know, that season. And because it's done that season, the next season, if I choose to use it, I just have to pump the levels in. And it's easy to pump the levels in. And I love actually killing content and playing the game, right? So, I hope you enjoyed that. That is the artifact, hopefully, and understanding video. How you should be, you know, popping these artifacts. Wh which ones you kind of want to be prioritizing, you know? Like, and give you guys a bit more freedom and a bit more, you know, 
I want you guys to kind of use a bit more of your, your noggins, you know? I know I'm a very smart guy and I'm here to give you guys all the info, but I need, I want you guys to show me, you know, you're learning from this and you're becoming outstanding members for your alliance, right? So, that's everything you need to know with the artifact choices. Like I say, if you're wondering how to level up artifacts effectively, it's quite easy to be fair. If you just zoom out, as you can see, right here is an icon. So you have your patrols, which is just like a red gem. Then you have this red gem with spiky brackets. And these spiky brackets represent a artifact dropped patrol. So if you kill these patrols, you're going to get more arcane dust. If you kill these ones, you're going to get way more resources, but you're going to get way more hero XP as well. As you can see, 21k XP compared to only 7.5k XP, you know, and this is still a level 24 and this is 23. So this is one level lower, but it's dealing nearly three times the amount of XP. So if you're going to level up, you want to basically focus these, smash as many of these out as you can, empty CP. And then once you empty your CP, you'll go to your chest, click details, click the plus icon, and here will display all of your books that you've accumulated, or arcane dust, should I say, that you've accumulated to level up your artifact. And then once you've leveled it up, you use your stars to upgrade it, and it's fine. And that is pretty much it. Once you've covered all your CP usage, the only other thing you can do is hit the quest icon, go down to the third section and if you've killed enough of these patrols like you should have you can claim two dark key, dark key chests and obviously then you can either save them for another day or you can go to one of these chests as you can see here and then with maybe a, an alliance member if you're a bit weak but if you're a whale you can just go here by yourself generally and if you just kill these five units you can claim this chest here and as you can see it will give you a random artifact it could be up to this one is up to you know legendary as you can see look i could get upgrades on my lucy's horn or my ancient tree you can get some pve content styled upgrades as you can see it's always tailored for the pve side so anything you get from here is good for like raids or killing patrols so you're going to be happy for doing that even a portion of vigor for building it's good you know it gets you to build stuff quicker in tight situations so and that is the only other way to get dust and once you've done that you're completed you've got everything you need to know about artifacts if you're wondering which artifacts to invest in or you're trying to find out you know the best artifacts you know to look for i have a complete guide section if you check out my videos, I have a tier list video, and that is a tier list on all epics, a tier list on all the legendaries, and a tier list on both of them combined together, which I hope you guys enjoy. It showcases as well all the artifacts, abilities, what their buffs are on screen at the start of the epic and legendary section of the tier list. And if you go straight into the, you know, double down section if you want to call it the part three finale and you're wondering what this artifact does you just have to go back to one of those videos and just you know skip through to the the actual bit on screen it only lasts about 10 seconds and it will showcase you the buffs as well as on the top right corner the artifact ability in action right through the little preview so i hope you enjoyed it that is everything you need to know smash a like comment and subscribe guys for another video from me mr sneaky and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace